Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to bake a basic tomato sauce recipe. We're going to use approximately 3 kilos of tomatoes. We are going to do this recipe because I just only got these tomatoes at 35 per kilo. Hindi ko alam kung mahal siya or mura pero so far sa mga nabibili ko parang mura na siya. So you don't want this color, you want this color. So first, let's wash our tomatoes. Then, let's just slice them in quarters. Be careful kasi usually sa tomatoes ako nasusugatan ng cuchillo. As you can see, hindi expert yung pag-fold ko ng um, tomato at this time. But it's good. It's all good. So after slicing, the tomatoes look like this. We're also going to use a few garlic cloves and a bit of basil later when our tomato sauce is done. So in a pot, we're going to add a generous amount of olive oil. Then we're going to add our three garlic cloves. So you don't want, so you don't really want the garlic to be brown. You just want it to be a little bit cooked. And then we can start adding our tomatoes. So as you can see, our pot is very full. But later, when we cook it down, it will just be lighter. So you can also season this with salt at this point to release the juices of the tomato. So you'll season it with a little bit of sugar and black pepper later when it's done. We're just getting a few basil leaves. You only need a few leaves actually. We only need around 5 to 6 pieces because we don't want to overpower our tomato sauce with the basil leaves. So at this point, with just a few minutes, we can already see that the juice of our tomatoes are coming out already. And that is what we want for this basic tomato sauce recipe. Ta-da! Well, this is the progress of our tomato sauce recipe. I usually like to make fresh ones because you can make shakshuka out of this. You can put this on toast, you can put it on your spaghetti, and you will never go back to pack tomato sauce again after doing this. So as you can see, our tomato sauce is quite thick already, so make sure to not burn this part. And to continue mixing until it's all fully reduced and cooked. So at this point, you can also season your tomato sauce already with freshly cracked black pepper. It would be all depending on your taste. You can also add herbs, but I'm keeping it plain. I'm just going to add some basil today. You can also add a little bit of sugar. And then you can just adjust this when your tomato sauce is done and a little bit of salt. So our tomato sauce is almost cooked. It, can, it will depend on you if you want it chunky like this or you can cook it down more. You can also use a blender if you want it. You want a fine consistency of your tomato sauce. So basically this, this, this is like a field, canned field tomatoes in fresh form. So as you can see, there are seeds in my tomato sauce, but it's very optional to you if you want to remove it. But I think it's not necessary because it's added flavor and fiber to my tomato sauce. So a while ago, our tomatoes are this full. Now it's re it, it was reduced by half. So at this point, you can already start blending this if you want, but I will keep mine chunky for my shakshuka tomorrow. So when your tomato sauce is done, just turn off the heat and then add your sprig of basil to your tomato sauce. And just let it simmer to absorb the flavor of the basil. Just a subtle flavor of our basil, but you can also add a, a, a different herbs like oregano, thyme, rosemary to your basic tomato sauce recipe. Enjoy and stay safe. See you on my next vlog. So here is a sample of my shakshuka. I'm enjoying it with a crusty sourdough bread. <laughs>